So um, basically what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, filling you in on the, this year, uh, or the year just gone, uh, in the tap, with the tadpoles. Um, this is one of a number of strands I kind of look after on behalf of the TDP. Um, so this is one that I've been particularly interested in. It's a slightly different presentation um, to ones we've done before because previously I've talked a lot from my point of view, but I've got some uh, other people who've provided me with some fit, some uh, insights into what it's like to be uh, in the tadpoles this year. So, uh, so this year um, I've been very busy. Uh, there's been a lot, as, you, as, as most of you will know, um, so I, I, had a, I had a chunk of time off in, in May uh, when uh, my little girl was born, so I've been, I've been having a, doing a lot of work to, to kind of keep up with uh, numbers and things like that. However, we've been really lucky this year. We engaged with almost 700 young people um, this year over a series of events. Um, these range from kind of large outreach events, including one at the um, Thames Barrier Park, where we, there were almost 200 uh, children, um, to individual school sessions, uh, which included Elliot taking two classes onto the foreshore at the same time. Uh, we did a series of family walks um, on the foreshore, which were great. Uh, we've done a series of um, guided walks as well. Uh, and also, kind of a key part of it, uh, really at the centre of that uh, has been our tadpoles and you can see some of our tadpoles in that image with um, some uh, frogs. That was the first craft session at Custom House uh, and we got some of the uh, uh, tadpoles involved in that. So we've been to Greenwich, Trig Lane, Rotherhithe and Bankside with the groups and we've been to a few other sites as well. We've done work with um, Fulham Palace young archaeologists and Bexley young archaeologists as well. So we've been really lucky uh, to work with a large number of groups and only a couple of weeks ago I went and did we did our first bilingual session at the Italian school in London which was a really interesting experience to have your words translated into Italian and then have to wait for some of the kids to kind of clock what you're talking about but a really good session nonetheless. So uh, a new year last year we started with new recruits we had a, a we, we were very lucky at MOLA that we have a new graphic designer who created this lovely, um, it's really, I really love it. That, if you can't tell on the, on the right hand side as you look at it, it's supposed to be me. <laughs> um, and the, 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 uh, the version we shared actually, there's some animation as well, which is really cool. Uh, and we recruited 13 new tadpoles this year and we're uh, about to start the process of recruiting uh, some more tadpoles for 2020. Um, so that was really great. And we've got a really interesting mix of uh, our tadpoles who have recruited over the last couple of years and, and this year. So we've had a really nice mix of people coming along um, to our event. And as always, our focus has been on what skills we can um, kind of demonstrate to, to the tadpoles. So obviously we've got the archaeology skills passport, which we use, uh, and we're really keen that whilst it's also a really fun uh, and interesting uh, experience being with the tadpoles, that it's also... Uh, a time where these young people can learn new skills. Just like uh, the adult frogs, a lot of you guys have come in with no real knowledge of uh, archaeological, archaeological recording. We want um, the tadpoles to come in and gain those same skills that you guys gain. So eventually, when they come to being 18, they can start volunteering with you guys uh, in the main uh, frog programme. It's also been a really interesting year, and I was a bit unsure about this slide. Um, it's been a really interesting year because you may have noticed in the news that young people have kind of been at the forefront. Um, uh, children and young people are making their voices known on a whole number of issues, and I think it's really important that we, yeah, in archaeology, don't ignore that, and we actually help to facilitate young people becoming more involved in what we do, because at the end of the day, if we don't let them get involved now, they're not going to get involved in the future. Um, and it's really important um, that we make sure we give them a voice. Um, <laughs> it's been really interesting. We've, there have been, uh, the Young Archaeologist Clubs have been kind of growing in their presence in kind of social media. You're hearing a lot more about what they're doing. And of course, there have been uh, the highly successful uh, March Young Archaeologists 
awards which are recognising the impact that young people are having uh, on the archaeology sector. And by give, as I said, by giving uh, young people a voice in archaeology, um, we hopefully will inspire them to be, continue to become involved uh, in the field. And on that note, um, the rest of the presentation is mainly going to be what some of the tadpoles have got to say about being uh, tadpoles. No. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's coming, don't worry. I'll get out of there. You're interesting, right? So, um, uh, the first uh, tadpole who you're going to hear from is... Um, is Sean. I can actually find a picture, a decent picture of Sean, but this is Sean here. All the pictures I have of him are over the back of his head, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, Sean is one of our new uh, tadpoles this year. He's been involved in the Young Archaeologist Club uh, down in Bexley for a long time, um, but he decided to come, to come along to tadpoles. And this is us, uh, a recent event at the uh, London Archaeological Archive um, with Dan Nesbitt. Uh, and as you can see, he says, I've really enjoyed everything, especially visiting the Mola Archives and getting to see uh, all the amazing archives. I'd love to learn more about the history of life on and beside the Thames. And it's really great when, you, when I read through some of these uh, kind of comments, they have a real desire to learn more, uh, which is fantastic. Um, the next one comes from Evan. Evan is on the right as you look at it. Uh, and this is a really great story that, that I'm really keen to share. So Evan came along he was part of our first group of, of tadpoles. Uh, and then and his mum came along with him a few times. And then last year, his little sister in the middle came along. Uh, and uh, last year as well, his mum on the left uh, started volunteering with us as a frog. So we have got two tadpoles from that family and one frog, which is fantastic. <laughs> it's what we like to see. Um, and, and Evan says, I've, I've had to edit these down because there are a few where they talk about how they, they, they're, they're, they're quite nice about me and I don't want to keep putting comments that make me look, <laughs> that would inflate my ego too much. Um, and he says, I've really enjoyed learning more about the history of the Thames and London through the archaeology of Foreshore. It's helped me, it helped me a lot to take an interest in new things and even consider a career in archaeology. And if that's not something to be, that is great about what we're doing, I don't know what is. Um, so that's Evan. This is his sister, Ella. Uh, so she's been coming along since uh, last year. She says, being a tadpole is important because it makes people happy to find treasures from all along. We heard uh, from Liz and from James in the last session about that. Uh, and she thinks the frog expert team is important to tadpoles because without them, we will never learn about archaeology. So that kind of emphasis that it's not just, a, it's, it's kind of a cross-generational uh, bit of uh, kind of interaction there. And then she says this, which I love. Also, they are very entertaining and always have an answer to all of our questions. I hope I always have an answer. Um, I don't know whether it's me that's entertaining or, or other members of the team, but that's another great, um, uh, great endorsement there. It seemed, it seemed only apt, really, after getting a comment from Evan uh, and Ella to get a, a comment from their mum. Uh, so this is Carmen on the left, as you look. I, I, I knew Carmen before. I call my daughter Carmen, so there's not, it's not a, uh, there's no link there. Um, and with uh, this is uh, Carmen on her uh, frog training uh, with Monica, who's here. So Monica's got into a presentation, uh, and Carmen says, "I only considered training and joining the frog after accompanying my children to different sessions with the tadpoles at Greenwich Custom House and the Museum of London Archive. We have always loved visiting the museum, and a few years ago they participated in the Tower Foreshore event." returning home with a bag full of animal bone and rusty nails. <laughs> I, I feel that's something we do to a lot of the parents of our tadpoles. Um, however, it's great that it was coming along with her kids that encouraged Carmen to come and volunteer with us. Again, I think that's a fantastic uh, testament to what we've done. Um, so, and one more. I, I had to get... We've been really lucky uh, with the tadpoles that... Um, We've had a couple of frogs be involved, and one of those is, is Franklin, who unfortunately can't be here today. Um, uh, but I asked Franklin to, to send me a, a, a quick comment, and and I really like it because it's all about um, again, it's all about sharing uh, with 
young people to kind of give, uh, to kind of, again, sharing across generations. Um, and the kind of imagination, I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's quite long, but the kind of imagination and different uh, kind of things working on the foreshore can conjure up for children. Uh, so next year, we've got uh, another year of funding, uh, thanks to, as part of our two-year block with Tideway. Uh, so we'll be running more events in the new year. A full programme will be coming out very, very soon. Um, we'll be continuing with our work at Custom House. Um, I'm really hoping that there can be a lot more crossover between the frog uh, and the tadpoles. Um, and also we, we can continue to give uh, tadpoles a chance to develop their skills. And also uh, we're looking really, uh, I'm quite looking forward to some ways that we are going to work uh, in continued partnership with Tideway in the next year. There's some exciting stuff coming up which you will hear about, I promise, but I will because it's in the very early stages I can't share now. So that is me. Uh, apologies for the lighting. <laughs> Hopefully we're at a comfortable level now. Um, but I hope, I hope that gave you a nice uh, kind of insight into the tap holes and everything we've been doing this year. <laughs>